Yeah. yeah. I gotta tell my girlfriend that. It's her. It, it was her birthday yesterday. It was her birthday yesterday. My girlfriend's. Oh. She turned 20. Yesterday, Harry Potter, he's what? the little hobbit guy in that in that rings trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's been 19 years <laughs> since. Just kidding. He's yeah. the youngest Stark child. It was the child. epilogue. <laughs> the epilogue of Harry Potter. <laughs> and Colonel Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> what? Colonel Sanders. He's a okay, now you're just going out. Not to be sure. confused with Harry Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> As you can hear, the crowd is here. Oh. Welcome to list oh, episode number four. There's going to be some changes in the way it works today. Ooh. We have rules. We have the actual game. The list, of course, is an improv conversation game. Well, we it hasn't been so much of a game yet. Here are the rules. Our six, including myself, participants, Sam and Winnie, Rod Diaz, Mackenzie Jensen, <laughs> Dean Garcia, and Blake Benlin. Hey, hey. I did it right. All right. <laughs> they have each drawn from a hat little slips of paper that have either a topic or a phrase or something like that on there. I think that everyone we don't get in, we have to eat the paper. Ooh. No, because I, <laughs> I have to tally points at the end, and, and the ones that you don't use, I want to use them later. <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, you can still get them. This just won't be fun to get. So, this is the way the points works. Now, when you get in one of the topics or phrases on your slips of paper, at the end, if nobody caught it, I give you a point for that. If somebody thinks it's one of yours and they say, that's on your list, and they're right, they get a point. You can bluff. You can do something off the cuff in your conversation, and somebody says, that's on your list. And they were wrong. You get to say, ah, oh, you've been listed. Boom. Boom. And you get the points. <laughs> we're going to see how this works. I want to be listed. As <laughs> usual, we begin with a topic 100 years from now. What will the world's food sources be? Genetically modified organisms and clones. Well, Gen uh, genetically modified organisms and clones? Oh, yeah. We're going to be cloning our meat. No, yeah, we're definitely not going to have real cows anymore. I no, mean, no, no, no. We already... What I get from that is that I'm going to be cloning myself and eating my clone. Yeah. That would be awesome. I wonder <laughs> what it tastes like. I'm not sure ethnically, or mm, ethnically, no. ethically. <laughs> so the Mexicans won't like that. Isn't because I'm white? Like, they're spicy. <laughs> ethically, I feel like probably not eating your own clone. You know, maybe eating like a clone of a cow. I mean, I'm, I'm envisioning a factory that just clones meat, and and it kind of fixes the ethical issues that like, we have now with eating meat, which is you know an animal has to suffer and die. That kind of sucks. So if we can get that whole thing out of the picture and still get delicious meat, nothing has to suffer, nothing has to die because so, we genetically grew it in a lab. I think we'll clone, get there soon enough. A clone is a genetic. Copy, so isn't it still the same? And wouldn't thing? it still die? Yeah, like when you still have to I'm kill not it. I'm thinking we're cloning animals. You're just cloning, cloning just, just the, meat. the meat. I'm literally going straight oh, okay. to the final so, like, product. Bypass 3D print steak. Every, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How are we Can't doing that already, now? Yeah, I was just saying. I'm are. pretty sure they're doing Which is why, which is why I think that's where it has to go. Like, if we want to continue eating meat, we either be, all become vegetarians at some point because meat no. meat at the scale that we are going at is unsustainable. Or we figure out a solution, which I think the best one is genetically modified, you know, based meat. Here That's are uh, just grow. Here are my thoughts on 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 the question. You know, in a hundred years, uh, the only reason we'll be facing uh, food shortages potentially is because of. Uh, uh, uncontrolled population growth. So I say we, we take out people? two birds with one stone and just start eating people. But how do we decide <laughs> which people we can eat? Oh, oh, eat okay. the poor people, it's like of a, course. It's like yeah, that's how it's always yourself. worked. <laughs> Soylent green. Well, here's how it... How, Actually, how, hold how, on. Here's my argument. Hold on, we gotta hear people. Like... Yeah, but here's my argument against that. Oh, okay. Won't poor people taste less good? <laughs> oh. I mean, you know, they're malnourished, so naturally they'll have less meat. Why don't we just eat oh, the really fat people? <laughs> and how are we going to decide, like, 
like, okay, yeah, poor people, but how are we going to decide which poor people? Are we going to go back to, like, Mayan or Incan times and be all like, oh, we've decided you are going to be the human sacrifice this year. Yeah. I think They're whoever like, draws the short straw. Taxes. How much money did I, you um, make this year? Historically <laughs> speaking, something like 95% of the world population are the poor people. 5% of this world population actually have anything. That's just the truth, right? And, and especially historically speaking, like, it's probably even more so historically speaking. If you mm -hmm. go back, I don't know, 2,000 years, we're talking like maybe 1% had anything. And Which brings about there. the games where <laughs> certain poor people fight other poor people <laughs> and the winners eat the losers. So it's kind of like Hunger Games, but cannibalism? Oh yeah. yeah. I think that so we it's should entertaining and nutritious. There you go. <laughs> I think we should do it like like in school gym, you know where you assign everyone a number, odd numbers over here, even numbers you're going to get eaten. A lottery? Like Dragon Slayer? <laughs> Here's what I was thinking. Uh, whereas uh, China currently has a uh, one child maximum, we establish a two child minimum. So, one of the kids <laughs> is uh, bread for eating. Everyone sacrifices equally. Everyone sacrifices equally. Oh like my it. goodness. So, so it's entirely possible that there's um, problems with eating your own kind. And the reason I say that is that if you look at you know, civilizations where that actually <laughs> happened, uh, like the Incas, a few other places, there were some weird anomalies going on. If we look at their bones right now, heads yeah. that are really misshapen, all kinds of crazy stuff. Men with women hips, all yeah, that all stuff. All kinds of crazy <laughs> things. And some of the thinking as to why and how that happened might have to do with the fact that they ate a whole lot of other people. Well, maybe we don't eat and a they, whole lot then. Yeah, we just need to moderate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or we can just make and, meat. Wait, no. <laughs> and, and more that. Like a snack, I'm not as saying, a meal. We, have choices. we might be able to just make meat, you know. Not only were they eating other people, they, they were eating other people that were doing things like drinking ayahuasca and licking toads. And, so <laughs> well, that have, was in the meat. Well, we should start licking toads as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing against licking toads. I think that's a great idea. But the problem, I think, is that they actually, and, and I think this is true in almost every place where eating other humans was a thing, is that it was always part of their religion. It was like they were doing it to get their spirit and their powers and their abilities. And they actually believe that if I ate you and you were like a great singer, well, that would improve my voice. So well, just to clarify, that, that was the before Christ version of vegans. It's like you're going out with friends, you're going to have some nice... I don't know. I don't know what Incans ate, but like they're going out. Like <laughs> we're gonna have oh, Chinese your... tonight. <laughs> oh, what's your it's like one of them is asking another. What do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Italian? One of them is just asking. Oh, what should we do for lunch? And one of them is just like, how about people, dude? Stop trying to feed us that fad diet stuff, man. Like, we're just to over here talking about hunting some boars and shit, and you're all like, oh, let's go eat some people. Ugh. Speaking of high and mighty. Speaking of vegans, like, think about, like, our day and age now. People are not going to be cool with people eating people. They're not cool with people eating cows. Survival. Those They're are the people cool we're going to eat. I feel like... Oh, uh, you know what? There it is. <laughs> eat the vegans. <laughs> they will, they will have, have great meat. meat, too. Probably. I feel like all grass They're already grass-fed. Oh, my God. They have, they have have great meat. Yeah, I think vegans would Free be roll. Uh, <laughs> vegans would be a lot more keen on people eating people than people eating animals. I That's feel. true. That's true. We don't want to be yeah, speciesist. Naturally, especially if the people were like into it, you know, like wanted to eating, which actually did occur in Germany. There was a guy in Germany who like put out an ad that he wanted <laughs> to eat somebody, and somebody responded and showed up. I remember this. Yeah, be eaten, <laughs> and they started the procedure. It got about, stopped at some point. By who? How about, uh, okay. I, I don't remember the exact details. <laughs> I'm sorry, I that, just got really curious remember, on which that. Was, which was more than enough. How about like the organ donor thing on your driver's license? Instead of an organ donor, it's like you have the red sticker for an organ donor. donor, and then there's a little green sticker that says, eat me. Yeah. <laughs> Food source. In Food case source. If I get hit by a bus, yeah. start cooking, baby. Yeah, yeah. I prefer to be fried. <laughs> <laughs> electric I'd like to be walk. in a casserole, please. I'd like to be cooked in an electric wok. <laughs> I, I'm really into Italian, or, you know, make me into tacos. Do I taste good with steak sauce? That's all I'm wondering. The answer is Well, maybe... Yes. 
a certain part of you. I mean, you're, that's right. The whole thing. That's I mean, right. Like they're all different flavors, not, man. It's but, like a, it's you know, like a cow. Calf, you know, yeah, you. like not every part Tasty. goes with like a one. Some some you just need some. It all it all depends. I think on your seasoning, like, like your preparation. I love stir fry. Right, stir fry. Just stir me up with honey, man. You'd never even know the difference. You'd be like, what is this? <laughs> and you know um, the inedible parts of a person we could use for other things. We could be like the Native Americans. You know, you can oh, make you can no, use their not. bones to make jelly beans. Really? Or yeah, utensils. You can use bones to make just about anything with gluten because it's a uh, well, yeah, because your, your but, fingernails and your bones are all made out of. You boil it down, it turns right. into a jelly. So everybody bean. carries a little bag of jelly, jelly beans, beans all the time to be want. nourished. I wouldn't yeah. have I wouldn't have finger fingernail jelly beans, but I'd have bone jelly beans. Why not? I'm not gonna touch the finger. The fingernails are gross, but yeah. I'll do the I'll do the yeah, bones. We use those to scratch our asses, man. <laughs> I mean, instead you of do. being cremated, being turned into jelly beans sounds pretty cool. Oh my god, that's I how I want to go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Wait, who would eat us though? I no one. You just you just, you just I want to be eaten by people oh, in yeah. Nigeria. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No one wait, has wait, to yeah. know. Wait, wait, wait. I guess. I serve them at my funeral. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Guys, guys, guys. I mean, like Mackenzie. Real question here. <laughs> supplied all of the snacks. They're like, they're just jelly beans. Just remember, guys, <laughs> Mackenzie's in all of us. Now. Yeah. And then wait, then guys, like, guys, guys, guys. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know how in church, like, they always hand out, like, uh, Eucharist wafers or whatever, whatever they eat? And then, like, the wine. What if, in addition to that, they also have the jelly beans? Like, uh, you could say... Uh, body of Christ, blood of Christ, have some jelly beans. There you go. Bones of Mackenzie. Bones of Christ, bones of Christ. Bones of Mackenzie. Bones of Mackenzie. So, so the other possibility is 100 years from now, like, things <laughs> climate-wise could be pretty bad. Mm-hmm. It's entirely possible we'll be facing, like... Well, it's not looking good. <laughs> yeah, we, we, might, we might be... We might be then in, the like, vegans will be slow-broiled their entire I, it life. Might, it might be that in 100 years from now, we'll be, like, we will be eating other people because it'll be pirates and world destruction and apocalyptic yeah, sort of right. stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, God. Mad Max style. That sounds so cool. Yeah, you mentioned <laughs> that. Everybody loves genetic, that, man. Genetically modified. So, are we going to have genetically modified poor people to make the food better? Wait, wait, can you say that again? It's like these poor people aren't aren't meaty and juicy enough. We gotta genetically modify these poor people that we're gonna eat. Oh yeah. Just it's like knowing when you, when you were born, okay. you were born to be bred and eaten. Well we were talking I feel about like- uh Oh, go sorry. Ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, we were talking about um, how how eating poor people <laughs> might become unsanitary. Well, well, I think that just as we have uh, you know health inspectors and sanitation experts, oh. we need people specifically assigned to uh, surveying the homeless population, ensuring that uh, you know they're they're uh, keeping a healthy diet, uh, brushing <laughs> their teeth, daily exercise, showering regularly. <laughs> Everybody wins. How do they shower if they don't have a place to shower? They've given them a place. To Monthly yeah, juice cleanse. Oh no no no! We just rile them all up in a net and we dip them in the ocean. And then they dry off. And it's kind of like a problem. okay. Historically you know. speaking, can I just say historically speaking, rounding up large amounts of people and giving them a shower doesn't work out very well ethically. Are well, you saying take we, that however we, you will? We don't give them a shower. <laughs> well, maybe we make it like a volunteer the thing. Shower, if they want to be pampered for like let's not say that a kind year, of shower. A then nice shower. they volunteer to be eaten. They're homeless all their life, and they're like, you know what? Maybe I want to be pampered for at least a year, and then I'm then oh, going to be eaten at that deal. That like sounds Starship like a really Troopers. good book. Would you? Yeah, I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would read, I would watch that in the movie. I would wa- read the book, then watch the movie adaptation. I might take that idea from you. If it's you're okay, cool with it. but it's like that's a good one. I'll get. I'll. I'll, I'll be writer. like, you right, know, right. Okay, I, good. Yeah. yeah. I'll cut you. To be Dean. food good. for a year, you get to live like a king. That's pretty cool, man. That really. That sounds <laughs> like a book. I want to write it. I'm going to write it. <laughs> Although I, I still think we could just grow our own meat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> on the did, other right? if you want to do the easy way around. One place that's doing that right now, instead of starting with, you know, a Petri dish, is using scorpions. I and so I you. actually, and this is in, I think, Australia. No, no, it's in Finland. I want to go have a scorpion steak. Because they're using scorpions, and they're doing, yeah. they're genetically it's a whole modifying steak made a scorpion. Out of scorpions? And they're making it into like a filet mignon. Yeah, it's a whole <laughs> steak made out of scorpions. Why well, that sounds start like with a nightmare. Cells and genes at, from the scorpion, at, at and some then point, when they're done with it, bugs it's a, become a real viable option for a number of reasons. Bugs, number one, baby. there's more bugs in biomass, like by weight, than there are people or anything else. Like they are the number one thing on this planet in terms of just quantity, right? In this house right now, you probably got. 
20 pounds worth of termites and uh, ants and roaches and God knows what else. Mm. You know, spiders. <laughs> right there. 20 freaking pounds of it. Right here. It's, it's all happening right around us. So, uh, and they're everywhere. They're everywhere. And it's a perfect source for protein, perfect for source for fats, perfect source for oils. It's got everything in it. And they're delicious. They, some are spicy. I hear like some <laughs> some ants are, you know, have a little bit of a kick to them. Fire That's ants? what I've heard. I want me a I scorpion steak, people. <laughs> also, I Mackenzie, can I just say that a minute ago we were talking about rounding up poor people and eating them, and now we're talking about eating bugs, and you're like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, is, that is true. That you, did happen. You, 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 but, uh, <laughs> you mix the poor people and the bugs together. together. I mean, how do you that do? And then, then you, you get, get the bugs. Bug now that's yeah. a casserole. Yeah. You, give the the bugs, you give the bugs to the people. And then you eat the people. <laughs> All you gotta do is make I the think people that's just an extra wad up. <laughs> Yes. I think that's a slavery with extra steps. <laughs> All you gotta do is make them watch The Lion King because they make the bugs look delicious. That is so in that movie. true. When I was a kid, yeah. I'd be like, "Oh my I god!" And grubs. then I'd go outside and I'd like pick Holy. up a worm and I'd be like, like, "Nah, no, grub down, Mackenzie. <laughs> no, no. It's just a little grub." <laughs> Slimy yet satisfying. Yeah. No, yeah. See, I feel like either we're going to go super high tech and there's going to be like genetically modified meats and vegetables and fruits and we're going to be totally good, set, cool. <laughs> or the world's going to go to complete shit. And we're gonna have to eat bugs and dirt. It's gonna be both. Okay, no one ever said about dirt. Now you're just, where we now are just right now. I'd rather eat dirt than bugs. It might all be sand dunes. That makes no sense. And think about no the class divide dunes. right now. You know, you have the one percent and all that, oh. right? So if you're down in the poverty level, yeah, you're eating bugs and other people. And stuff. If you're in the one percent, you get to go to that secret restaurant where one of the things on the menu is baby. <laughs> I don't know. Not it's only do you veal. get to eat people, you get to eat like better than venison, man. You get baby, actual baby. <laughs> so, so in, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, there's a restaurant at the end of the universe. Oh yeah, I remember this. Is this like the animal? Uh, and the and the restaurant at the end of the universe. The way they solved the problem was they had their animals became so intelligent and bred to like. Not only think, but to be able to make conscious decision and desire to be eaten. So they would come to your plate and talk to you and be like, oh, yeah, I'm totally ready. You know, you should definitely have a piece of my thigh. It's juicy and delicious. You're going to love it. It just talks you into eating it. And then you just, yes, this is how it goes in the it restaurant. It likes being and eaten. It wants to be. It's been born and bred to be eaten, but it can think, it can talk, and it actually works its entire life to make different parts of itself as tender as possible so that when you decide you're ready to have that steak, you're going to have the oh, most I, delicious steak is, ever. Is this an option for cannibalism? Like people coming to your table and saying, hey, do you want to no, eat no, me? No, no, no. I don't how nice that, my arms are. No, that that might cams. be a way we can I go and actually day. get our animals <laughs> to decide that they want to be meat and, you know, talk to you about it. Believe me, I've been on, on the manipulating point of that conversation more than once after two in the morning. <laughs> Though granted, let's be honest, you ever like go to the gym and there's always like that bunch of dudes who are like super muscular and all you can think of is Dude, imagine how much fucking meat is on there. Like, I, I would have never thought that was in my life. Oh, my muscles distasteful. Yeah, I thought you don't want something that's like super muscular. Yeah, like I've heard crow tastes really bad because they're muscular birds. That is true. Things I think you want something that's just kind of chill. More delicious. You know? The just higher like, the fat yeah, content, the like, more I'm rich I'm just saying. Like that's why we yeah. eat pigs. And that's why that's why it's a delicacy to eat like baby calves, where you know they keep them in a pen where so they can't move, so they don't develop any muscle. Uh -huh. No muscle. They're just like me. I would try to. <laughs> I tried to. Are you go trying to, to say you're gonna be delicious? Um, <laughs> no, Mackenzie, actually, what do your shins taste really like? I'm really muscular. Uh, <laughs> your gastrocnemius looks like it has a lot of meat on it. <laughs> so you guys know, actually. So the reason that I brought you guys pizza today was Bad because. Mess up. Huh? Bad bad mess up. Bad bad up. The reason I've gathered you all. No. <laughs> so I actually, well, I was supposed to go work out at the gym today at SBCC for one of my classes. And I left my paperwork at home for the fifth time. And so <laughs> I was like, son of a bitch. And I was like, you know what? If I'm not going to go to the gym, I might as well go get like donuts or pizza or something. I almost Damn went for it. the donuts because that's going to be 
I was the a huge part of future food. It's like, you know, when you're donuts. making food out of poor people and insects, you're gonna make donuts. I oh, didn't yeah. realize the <laughs> head of the health department was Homer Simpson. <laughs> now remember, if you can't afford to eat actual food, <laughs> eat donuts. <laughs> Donuts are so good though, and they're so cheap. Do you? Re- I have mm, not. I hadn't been to a donut shop donut. in forever, and I went. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I went like twice this week, <laughs> and bought like half a dozen donuts, and they were like, "Oh yeah, it's gonna be like five dollars," and I was like, "What? Yeah, five dollars." Yeah. You know, the government actually knows we're gonna start eating people in a hundred years. That's why they're gonna make fast food so cheap, uh, so they can fatten us up. And I'm be falling like, for yeah. it. I'm falling for it. And people are going to be the fast food. Exactly. Right. <laughs> right. Well, they're going to be a little slow, but it's going to be able to move green, that fast. Folks. It's going to be soiling. I'll green. tell you one way to fatten them up. Since donuts came into the picture, it just reminded me of this thing I did once. I made a recipe called donut pie, and it wasn't anything about eating people or anything like that. But it was. It had an ulterior motive. I made a pie with a pie crust that had four Boston creams in the bottom, mashed with a potato masher. And then it had these donuts that were square that had strawberry cheesecake in the center on top of that and donut holes on top of that and whipped cream. And I would bring it to work and I wouldn't eat any of it. And I'd watch everybody else eat it and then watch the sugar crash. Oh my (laughs) God. And it was so good. And then when that sugar crash hits, you chop them up and you eat the people. There you go. Perfect. (laughs) Just also, if you crush like just a little bit of melatonin in there. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Maybe a little then sandwich. they won't wake up screaming. That's and, and salt yeah. and pepper. Yeah. You gotta add salt. Well, I mean, it won't. It won't do that much. It's just salt and pepper, in. like but the like, artist. It'll just. It'll get you there a little quicker. And then start with the head, so they don't wake up screaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. yeah, yeah. 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 Cumin. Cumin. <laughs> I just like that word. <laughs> cumin. I want genetic, genetically modified cumin on the brains of the poor people. I'm gonna eat, <laughs> and brains are gonna be very important. Not right. thoughts, brains. Man. You Maybe know what I think brains. we should do? People already eat monkey brains, and we're pretty close to monkeys. You know what I think we should do? <laughs> monkey here's the way. A couple of us in this room are. Here's a, here's a way to select how we can how we can get people, and we can do it easily. So we get people who are known to be violent, right? And we program a kill switch in their brain. And then we give them it. And if they try to do something, just activate the kill switch and they, Thank you know, your, and then you eat steak. them. <laughs> yeah, just put we'll the gun the down, man. Switch. Picks it up and you're like, oh, you're bacon. Push the kill button. Yeah. <laughs> bacon switch. Some alternative to the death penalty. That's yeah. why they're going to put it's chips quick. in people in the future. It's not about like knowing where you are and knowing what you shop for and stuff like that. It's so that when they want, they hit the button and you're on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> Three strikes your food. Well, well Three strikes your food. There's, there's there's a good slogan. Three strikes, three offenses, and you are steak. I like bitch. three strikes. The stakes are very high on that food. one. I think we've already hit seven billion people on the planet. Mm-hmm. We, we did have. that like and last it should year. only be yeah. four billion. And, and, in my and it's going to keep growing like mm-hmm. exponentially. Like that's Yeah, yeah we will keep live to see sex. critical Come on, guys. being reached. So, <laughs> Back so that shit off. Yeah, and, <laughs> and the planet really, uh, I read somewhere that like for optimum, like for everybody to have the kind of lifestyle we have here in the United States, like the average U.S. American right now, you would need to have somewhere in the neighborhood of one billion people on the planet. Are you There's saying? enough resources on this planet to sustain us at this level if we had one-seventh of the current population on this planet. Yep. And since we're going the opposite way in a really big way, um, we're getting farther and farther away from that reality. So this conversation, although distasteful, might be a solution. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, people eat people. <laughs> it's, uh, a, it's, a, it's a real reality problem. You're like, have one, yeah, chances are to good. figure this out. So, something, something big might happen, like some mega nuclear <clears throat> war. Nuclear war or an asteroid that we mm-hmm. missed that comes in and is big enough. All we need is one that's about mm, about 500 feet and across. Here's you know, all made your out of problem. Rock. Like, that would do it. That would wipe out half the population easy overnight. And, and then and then a uh, big chunk later, like over the course of the next five to ten years, it would just... I think we just need to get this space travel shit going. Elon. Yeah, so, so we can raid other planets. Mm-hmm. Okay. And eat other things. No, kinds of see, people. here's so, what, here's so what here's I think. The one I'm, I'm thinking is... Colonialism. This, I'm going to call it now, I'm going to call it now that there is a super volcano on, on continental United States. And uh, when it blows, it's going to... It's gonna it's gonna wipe out the population of the U.S. At least from your politics suck. <laughs> but Mackenzie's on to something, man. When we got the Not Enterprise and we go out to space, we are gonna find the trebles. 
Travels. And that's going to be the food source. <laughs> the right. Wait, wait the aren't the troubles? multiply like crazy. It's like, everybody, quick, eat more Troubles. <laughs> wait, aren't the Troubles like those uh, f- the fuzzy things? They're little things. furball things. They're, 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 they're called Troubles. are like this big, and they go... <laughs> and they multiply very quickly. But they're mostly for... Like what? the actual oh, meat part. Uh, so everybody's going like, to be coughing up hairballs. Dude, it's mostly it's What'd mostly you have for lunch today? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the travel. <laughs> okay, but see, here's my whole thing with space travel, though, and, like, ruining other planets. What I think we should do is we should only get people who are going to be environmentally friendly. And now that we know that what we've done to our planet... Then maybe when we go to a different one, they're like, hey, maybe, just maybe, we learn from our mistakes and this time we don't do all the shit that we did and we'd be clean. And yeah. when you we do that, nice though, you've got to go to the other side of the 1%, again, where you're going to have those people that were, you know, the, uh, they didn't have the chips put in, right? The parents wouldn't let their kids have the chips put in, and so they didn't, they managed to hide their kids and stuff. So now you've got these little freaking tribal, evil, cannibal kids running around <laughs> with machetes and knives. Is this on the new planet? Well, come on. If, if you've got that, if you got the high road, you, the low road is still going to exist, man. You so, just send them back to so Earth. The you're problem, like, listen, the, the you're problem, out. The problem with going to another planet right now is that there's no realistic way of getting because yeah. um, there's the reality that space is big. I mean, really Is it? Really bigger than we know. Really big. Wait, it, it is? It is so damn big that the light... That leaves our sun takes about eight minutes before it hits us, and then that same light takes it like a long ass time to get to Mars, and then a long ass time farther to get to each planet before it even leaves our solar system. We're talking about like weeks, and that's going at three hundred thousand kilometers per second per second. Yeah, but I hear and that Nixon and Jim Morrison pulled it off. <laughs> no, they're out there, man. They started a colony. <laughs> no, we we did send we did send a probe off uh, Voyager one and two, two of them in seventy two and seventy seven, and those suckers are just now leaving our solar system. They've been going about as fast as we can get anything to go out there, and it's taken this long. They have not officially left our solar system. They are now in what's called the Oort cloud, which is Oort. big the cloud. What? Oort, everybody. The Oort, Oort cloud. O O R T. The Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is a the uh, the, Oort, at Oort, the Oort, outskirts Oort. of the solar system. When you go Sweet outside of Neptune, there is a big cloud of dust and rocks and ice, and it just is a big cloud of it. And outside, there's also. That's where uh, Pluto lives, and about seven other dwarf planets. They're all out there. Wait, I'm sorry awesome. to interrupt so you really quick. Tell me, Pluto the dog, sneezy, grumpy, happy, and, and like seven other dwarf planets whose names like are Chiron, and, and I can't remember the rest of them. But they're all they're all out there. They're Chiron's all very small, about the size of our moon, and the, it has just entered that. Like these probes that we sent off sixty years ago. That's insane. I'm telling you, Nixon's yeah. on that on that moon right after Jupiter. <laughs> and so, oh, and so oh, I'm saying, Earth <laughs> And so what I'm saying is that, like, realistically, even part of the problem is just physics. Like, if Einstein's right, and so far everything he said is right, we can't go the speed of light. It's just impossible. The closer you go to the speed of light, the more mass you get to the point of infinity. So we just can't, like, physically get that fast. And even if we were to get, like, 80% to the speed of light, which is really, 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 really fast... You would warp time. So everybody here on Earth, if you went out there and went for five years and came back five years later, everybody on Earth would be 25, 30 years older. You just went forward in time, took you 10 years, everybody else is 50 to 100 years older, depending on how close to the speed of light you get, because traveling at that speed warps time. Just yeah. like in Interstellar. Yeah, yeah, I've and done it, and I only went movie. up 19 minutes and 48 seconds. Murph. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, man. I was as high as I could jump. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't think we necessarily need to uh, leave the solar system uh, to find another habitable planet. Uh, I, I'm not expecting, you know, Battlestar Galactica to become a reality anytime in the next hundred years. Poop. But, After that, um, yes, but not, not within it. But, uh, you no, know, yeah, some of uh, Jupiter's years. moons Europa. look promising. Europa we just have to awesome. terraform. Yeah. Or just live under 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 the uh, ice in the in the water, you know. Have like underwater cities. Yeah, I'm grow gills. Go there. And it seems like they <laughs> really, like really, really, really want Mars to be livable. I know. Like everyone wants to live on Mars. Does anyone ask Mars if it wants us to live on it? 
Yeah, the Martians are going to get really upset. John Jones is going to come down here and say, guys, I don't want you here. Mar- Mars has a few problems. We can maybe live underneath the Earth on Mars, like underneath the ground on Mars. Because no Mars has no, <laughs> it's got no electromagnetic uh, shielding. And so all the sun's radiation just blasts the hell out of it. Could so we create some anything kind that of... Anything that lives there for any amount of We're time... We're living in California. We're experiencing that now. Ah, but we, I... ha- we actually have an Earth whose magnetic field... <laughs> actually protects us for most I go back to scorpions man if it can live in Arizona it can live on Mars actually can we um, create some kind of synthetic atmosphere thing? atmosphere actually uh, to, possibly uh, go we back have, like has anybody like but we can't do a magnetic field at least I can't think of any way to get the magnetic field work magnets again. bitch because what <laughs> Thanks, what happens Jesse. is what happens, even even our moon had a magnetic field for a little while um, because any my moon's got a synthetic atmosphere. Hot, anything that has enough molten metal in it that moves creates a magnetic field. So um, Mercury has a magnetic field. We have a magnetic field. Our, the moon just lost its magnetic field. And Mars had a magnetic field up until uh, some billion years ago or so. And there's really no way to restart that shit because it just got co- the inside got cold. And Heat it up. <laughs> yeah, there's no Ooh. real. Yeah, like, we just don't Science. have that kind of technology. We don't have that kind of technology. That's a big rock. Pop it <laughs> in. We should create a giant space oven. Pop it in there at 350 for a couple. It's got to have something to do with the sun. I got it. I got it. You want to remagnetize the moon? You drill a hole in the moon down to the center. And you put a hamster wheel that's got copper all over it in the middle of the moon. And you put a hamster that's got magnets on its feet running on that Damn. copper wheel. I'm, I'm, I'm bummed go. we're not on the moon. You know, we could actually be on the moon. Well, all we would need to that do, would be and, and the same exact thing as I'm suggesting with Mars, we just live underground. Because the solution is not to restart the... the but, we're not going to get a magnetic field back. But you can live underground. If you're 20 feet underneath Earth... You are now equally as protected from all that nasty stuff as you would be if it had a magnetic field. Okay, I'm not... So just go underground. So we're all going to be fall. Vault 101. I have well, no... We're going to start tunneling. Yeah, man. I mean, look at North <laughs> Korea. Those guys have millions of tunnels, miles and miles of tunnels, and they have nothing but the weakest of tools. They're back in the Stone Age, and they can build them. So if they can do it, anybody can do it anywhere. I have no kind of experience with living underground at all. We just gotta be more like That's hobbits. Weird. Hobbits but are <laughs> badass. They live all right. underground. All right. They so make all they their homes underground. Out yeah, of the underground. Could survive a nuclear right. holocaust. Could you under- wait, wait, just <laughs> think they about They make wonderful food and beer. And they but they get to here. come out from underground. And, yeah, we, would, we, would, we would too. We just have to put on our spacesuits and go out and walk on the on I the, would die. Mars or, that sounds or, like such or a shitty life. Having to live underground forever. Miles and miles underground. Where does all that poop go every day? You recycle it and you put it you towards use it for you, fertilizer. You, you use Back it for to fertilizer. food sources. You That's fertilize right. the human. I just I eat it. potatoes. With We're it. all but eating poop. Is it? Yeah, just just cut out the middleman and start eating the poop. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't human it waste came out of us, bad must, for fertilizer? Must go back in. To use as fertilizer? No, I thought it was. I don't know, Rod. You tell me your thing. What, I was, what was the question? Isn't human fertilizer... Human waste bad for human fertilizer. Human waste bad for I've fertilizer. I've heard in certain parts of the world that they're doing it on a regular basis. And it Does it I've depend on the human? It, 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 what it all depends on is your diet. And what, what the problem is is that most like Americans what diets are you make pooping toxic out? poop, which is no good for anything. <laughs> Can't use but it's not because food. of human anything. It's not human biology. It's because of American diets. Okay, all right. If we actually <laughs> ate diets that were healthy anywhere near healthy, then we would have... So if you're eating Zimbabweans and Somalians and you're pooping them out... If we were eating amaranth, millet, quinoa as our primary foods, if we were eating 95% uh, different kinds of fruits, vegetables, if we ate like... uh, Are you saying we should have vegan diets? No, I'm saying that we should probably... I think we should eat them. I think we should probably eat about 5% to 10% animal sources. I think we should eat about 90% non-animal sources. I think that is the prime. And the reason I say that is because if you look at apes, apes are genetically very close to us. They are, that's about what they eat. They also have um, about 100 different kinds of vegetables on average per day, or plants, like leaves, right? I can do you one better, Sasquatch poop. Just like a bean. <laughs> Bigfoot has an amazing diet. He's got the paleo diet, man. He eats uh, nuts and berries. I believe Like it. stream water. You know, he has amazing Is that on your poop. list? It would be very... <laughs> hey, is that on I think, list? I think oh, Dean point just called me. Dean, 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 Dean,
Oh, walked out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, nobody had uh, called anybody. That yet. was I good. Know. That was a good one. That was a good one. Honestly, Wait, no, I don't know how mystery. he got that because it worked into the conversation. It was he was brilliant. He was I'm brilliant. a mastermind. He's a ma- he just TBA I was, I was, you know, I was I thinking. Gotten anyone else was, there was, I almost called it on someone, but, but then call, I thought better of it. In there good. I think I almost called you on one. I had then, scorpions. <laughs> oh, that wasn't even the one I was going to call you on, so I'm glad I didn't. I mean, we really are just another hominid. Like we are, we are right in line with all the other monkeys. Like. Uh, we have three percent differentiation hominid, between, hominid, hominid. between monkeys. Uh, we have six percent differentiation uh, genetically from bonobos, and so isn't the difference like one percent with uh, with bonobos? Back to the one percent. It's it's like yeah, they look it's so weird. Like we uh, bonobos and monkeys are farther apart from each other genetically than they are from us. We are closer to both bonobos and monkeys than they are to each other. So it was like in the tree of of um, of our evolution, right? Monkeys went off this way, we went this way, bonobos came afterwards this way. But I yeah, mean, look like, who I married. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ouch! And, and bonobos are badass. Like if you watch the bonobo uh, culture, they're like the craziest monkeys. They just have sex all the time, See? share everything all the time, <laughs> are totally cool with each other all the time. <laughs> don't ever have war. Don't ever fight, and literally have sex. All the time. I and think also, the solution uh, to overpopulation <laughs> and the solution to feeding ourselves is just be bonobos. I really do. I, I don't know if that's the solution for overpopulation. Yeah, especially if you're talking about lots of sex. <laughs> um, um, condoms? And, and plus and there will be Do bonobos use condoms? I don't think so. It's not even no, like a, like a only one. What, like bonobos have sex, girls with girls, boys with boys, boys yeah. with girls. And they, they even do oral. Happy. Flying anything. It's total free for all. Let it's them like, be was happy. it good for you? They're yep. so vulnerable. All right. Yep. Yeah. Bonobos don't care. They really don't care. Like, we're bored. It's, it's like, they don't even have to. <laughs> you you put, what, where? Where? Yeah. Who cares? It works. Bonobos have a great yeah, attitude. Worked like, that's too. all I'm saying. <laughs> it seems to work for them. I, I say glory to the bonobos. Yeah. Yeah. And the other hand, you got your monkeys, which we are... Drink sassy. it, smoke it, eat it, poke are, it. We, which is our other oh cousin God. on the other side. And they're warlike. They totally have... They, they kill each other for no good reason. There's murder. There's rape. There's freaking stealing. and we, Prostitution. And, and Yeah. And so... Um, and I say we have both of those things. <laughs> yeah, I like, think we have, we're we like t- right in between We them. are right in between. And genetically, <laughs> that's what is the genetic show. So I say we are monkeys who have the traits of assholes and really cool folks. And we can decide which way we want to go. So don't be like the asshole. Be like the cool folk. Be a bonobo. Be a bonobo. <laughs> be a bonobo. <laughs> a a bonobo. That is now a new chant for the list that can come up in any episode. Be a bonobo. Be a bonobo. As like well as brought to you by... No. Oh. Stango Vision. Stango Vision. Stango Vision. You're welcome for giving you guys that <laughs> gem. Bonobo sex brought to you by Stango Vision. <laughs> no. You can smell it. <laughs> That's a guy's today's episode. Bonobo no Stango Vision. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. It smells like Bonobo. <laughs> no. <laughs> now you can watch Bonobo Sex on Stank Television. <laughs> Smell what you're watching, man. With twice as much stank. <laughs> <laughs> now with 50% more stank. Oh, my God. It's all in the fur. <laughs> no, no, it's like it's the, dripping Bonobo no, 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 Sex. Here's my thought. Here's my thought. It's like one of the Bonobos finishes, and one of them turns to the other and says, Did you eat bananas yesterday? Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go home now. What a, <laughs> what a wretched conversation this is like, We have to get our minds out of the gutter. No, let's go back to cannibalism, guys. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, let's come let's on. Talk back about to something. eating poor people. Yeah, let's talk about something wholesome. I want to talk wholesome. more about eating poor people. Well, let's go back been the to talking most about PG bugs. conversation. <laughs> where, where we were safe. You know, if we... Uh, if we did take the uh, the space route, we could just eat space bugs and space dirt. <gasps> what? I would Troopers. eat a space bug. What's the difference between space bugs and I eat a space bug. Earth bugs. I bet you they look me, different. Dean. Starship Troopers. I need, I need a space hugger in two seconds. Really? They look Those delicious. look really gross. They don't look they like don't they have a lot of meat. Yeah. I put one on a grill. I would I would chop that tail off probably. And they got that's eggs it. inside, Go man. Just well, fry I mean, them up. Xenomorph, the other one. They, they don't look like they have a lot of meat on them. <laughs> if you they eat just, a space hugger, though, does something good. bust out of your gut? I would have Xenomorph. Day. What is Xenomorph? <laughs> Xenomorphs are <laughs> the, the aliens the, that the, the, that's what that the space huggers grow into. The space hugger gets on you. Oh, yeah, I did one of those. The aliens are the Xenomorphs. Space huggers don't grow into those. You know, the face huggers put their whatever in 
into the the into reproduction the is weird. So yeah. so the way it, the way it works is there's an egg that has a face hugger. The face hugger is the delivery system. That's mm -hmm. how it delivers Actually, the xenomorph into the host. You're missing a step, dude. You're forgetting about the queen. The queen okay, lays okay, yes. the egg, and okay, the egg yes. hatches a True. face hugger. Then the face and hugger. Well, you know what came so, first, the queen or the egg? egg from, so. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, what does the queen? You know, the, the queen was queen actually shown actually how a queen was made alien. in one of the alien movies, in one of the alien versus something or other. And, and any movie that's got verses in it is a shitty yeah, movie. I, I, but I one of the it. alien versus I beg something. to differ. Wait, Most of them are. Alien versus Predator was a shitty movie? No, no I'm no, not no. saying that. I'm no, no, saying no, like... What about Alien versus Predator Requiem? Well, what I'm saying is most movies that have verses in them is questionable movie. Like maybe... 5% of any movie that's got VS in it is actually a decent movie. But in one of those uh, movies, it actually showed them trying to make a queen. And they had to have a person who could be pregnant in order to make a queen. So a woman. Yeah. <laughs> a yeah. person who can be pregnant. Yes. Hey, let's not discriminate. Dan. I don't want to be discriminatory. Oh, yeah, Dan. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I that was, apologize. That was very politically correct, and I applaud you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. We're progressive here. The one big flaw, if you remember Species... With that, was there wasn't like a hundred of her, because then there'd be some action going Just on. Just look up. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Just look for the sequel. Species is... is. Species is... is. Species 2, Electric Species. Boogaloo. Yes, the orgy. That sounds like something to watch Sorry. on Stankovich. We'll call it <laughs> Species. When you've had enough Species. of the bonobos <laughs> fucking. Species is... is. Species meets the bonobos. <laughs> the species -ing. With face huggers. <laughs> Extra Thanks. banana. Well, I'm saying it's it's getting hot in I'll here. Take that bet, yeah. We've had a good one. Yep. I'm gonna say this, call it, Woo. turn the air conditioner on for a while. Bless you, man. Take a break and put together a different podcast and uh, see what happens. All right. Sounds like a plan. And if you don't you mind, I'm, I'm going to find the nearest zoo and get some bonobos on my side. Yeah. I feel like I have a business idea coming on. Yeah. I'm afraid we don't have bonobos at the and, Santa Barbara and somehow Zoo. somehow we didn't we talk don't. about Star Wars. Oh, wait. Last okay. future food the source, fuck? bonobo <laughs> chow. <laughs> you know, there were uh, bonobos Bono in Star Wars. Actually, there were bonobos in Star Wars? No, but I wanted to oh, bring no. up Star Wars. I see. Hey, you know, I, I, I was going to mention that. I was waiting for you guys to start talking about Star Wars. I almost did it. one I was going to have the air horn that goes, Wah! Every we cannot time. do Star Wars three episodes in a row. Oh, man. Every time I do we that, talked about Star Wars, when you guys Star went to Wars. Aliens, I was like, oh, thank God, it's not Star Wars. I can't, when we were talking about it, I was like, oh, there were totally no. bonobos. Mold calamari would taste delicious. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, Admiral Akbar. Oh, wait. Hey, hey, hey. That, that reminds me of another podcast that <laughs> the six of us probably have to do. I have in mind. It's these guys that are hanging out, and what did I call it? It's something for the Empire, right? It's these guys that work for the Empire, and they're not stormtroopers, they're strom troopers, right? And, and they sit around and they talk shit about stormtroopers all day. Strom troopers, they don't wear the white plastic armor and stuff. They, they wear like camouflage blankets and they run around in the jungle and shit. And they love to just sit around and bag on stormtroopers. So that's an experiment for the future. It might be like a half of a list thing or something. I like it. Should we say how many points we got? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I turn off the, the stuff. I got two. Okay. Mackenzie, you got two what? Two that you used that nobody called you? Oh, no, I got... Oh, yes, two that I used that nobody called. Two that you used that nobody called you on. What were they? Electric walk and kill switch. Electric walk? I oh, yeah. The kill switch. I, I, brought up the I even switch. tried to help yeah. one of you guys call her on it. I, I brought it back I up. I know. I was front. like, you oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> when did you say okay. electric walk? I said it, and then he brought she, it up oh, after she, it. He she, heard oh, it. Yeah, it counts. She totally did. Oh, yeah. she totally did. Dean, what you doing? Uh, well, I got one one with uh, human sacrifice when I brought up the... Oh, oh that, that was, was good. good. That was good. And nobody got him on that, no. man. That was a good and one. And then I took Sasquatch poop from Sam. <laughs> nice. That's you right. would. Okay, Blake. I got three. Son of a bitch. Um, I mentioned uh, Battlestar Galactica, nice. uh, Wretchedness, Ooh. and Sanitation Experts. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was a good Those sneak. are all very clever. The sanitation was a nice. good sneak. I caught that. I got, Sam. I got one, and it was steak sauce. 
Yeah. That's all you did? <laughs> yeah. I did almost got a, I did. almost got away with Sasquatch poop until but you did it. Did it. Yeah. I almost hey, did. That rivalry you're talking about might happen. Before we go on beyond, Sam, I want to tell you I'm disappointed in you because I know you had uh, Cookie Monster. I know. I was trying to win And we're talking about mouth. future food sources and you didn't get the Cookie Monster in there. Oh. Oh. Well, like, it'll be you know, too obvious. Let us talk about like, Star Wars. There is that very well known meme. Yes. Rod, what'd you do, man? I got, I got, you got uh, four? I got four. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Sneaky. Son of a jelly, Sasquatch. Jelly Rod beans. Jelly beans. Early. Jelly beans was one. Sand dunes. I don't remember you getting in sand dunes. I, he- I heard him. I heard him oh. say it. Okay. You said there. it very subtly, yeah. though. I did. Well, gonna... uh, genetically modified organisms. Wow, oh, that was like that right was off pr- the bat. Yeah. 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 I, I, that that was like the topic made it easy. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah. And then pirate plunder. Ah. Uh, I do try to write some of the things that I put in the hat. That match the question. Ah, uh, that's good. Okay. I, almost, I almost mentioned something about Taco Bandito, but someone interrupted, and I was like, okay, right, I guys. guess I'll Congratulations finish. on another badass episode of The List. I think it's getting better every week. Recording going off, AC going on. Hey! Love you, everybody. I'm going to come in. Hey! 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 The List is a conversational improv game. Each of our panel members has a list of topics and or phrases that were drawn from a hat. Their goal is to sneak those topics or phrases into the conversation. Another member of the panel, hearing thus, can say, that's on your list. And if they're right, they get a point. You can bluff, or if they're wrong, you get a point. To become part of the List community, go to patreon.com slash list. To contact any of us with your comments or questions, email listgame at cox.net, C-O-X.